Also on News 11, two shots ring out in a Yuma neighborhood, sending one man to the hospital and another behind bars at the Yuma County Jail. We will have the latest on the investigation. The early edition starts right now. Thanks, guys. Well, one man is recovering from his injuries tonight, and another is behind bars at the Yuma County Jail right behind me. This after an early morning shooting in a Yuma neighborhood. And those charges very soon may be in the hands of prosecutors. Navarrete is set to appear at the Yuma County Courthouse first thing tomorrow. Now, the latest just in, we have a second suspect that the Yuma Police Department is looking for. We take a look at his mugshot now. We have a description of Angel Salazar. He is 20 years old. Salazar is described as a Hispanic male. He stands about six foot one inches tall and weighs 260 pounds, that is, with brown hair and brown eyes. Again, that's the latest. And if you have any information, you are urged to call the Yuma Police Department or 78 Crime to remain anonymous. Reporting live from Yuma, I'm Nico Santos, News 11. Back to you guys. Guys, as of this morning, Yuma police officers already have one person behind bars in this case. Now they're looking for another person. He is 20-year-old Angel Salazar. Let's take a look. Salazar is described as a Hispanic male, six feet, one inch tall. He weighs about 260 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Now they're wanting to see him in questioning in reference to the shooting that left one person in the hospital. Those charges may be in the hands of prosecutors. Navarrete is set to appear in the Yuma County Courthouse tomorrow. If you have any information on this case or the whereabouts of Salazar, you're asked to call the Yuma Police Department or 78 Crime. Live from the Yuma County Courthouse, I'm Nico Santos, News 11. Back to you guys.